apple ice wine. I had the pleasure of walking through the orchard and learning more about this sweet creation. How did this all get started? You're making apple ice wine from these amber golden treasures here that are frozen on the tree. I grown on, on a farm, so I wanted to do something with the land. And uh, apple grows very well in Quebec instead of grapes. And we developed that apple ice wine with the apple uh, since we have them. Now, are these a special variety of apple, just a regular eating apple like you'd see in the uh, in a fruit salad? Well, it's, uh, you can eat those apple, yes, but they're a very special apple because they stay on the trees. Most of apple, like Macintosh apple, they won't stay on the trees. Now, look at this. It's almost got like syrup dripping off of it. It's Can I taste it? Oh, of course. It's delicious. It's like almost honey. It tastes exactly like honey, but but a little bit brighter and fresher. This is, un, it's almost a little caramelized too. Yeah. Well, the apple, since it's exposed like this so long to the, the freezing, mm. unfreezing, <laughs> the sun, the wind, all the water is evaporated and only sugar stays inside of the apple. And so you come through and you pick them frozen solid and then press them and then you ferment it's, a, it's hard to imagine how you'd be able to ferment something with that much sugar in it. Well, that's why it takes such a long time to ferment. It ferments for about six, seven months wow. at a low temperature wow. to keep all the flavor developed. So now that I'd had an opportunity to enjoy the unique beauty of the orchard, Francois took me inside where we could warm up by tasting his apple ice wine. So Francois, the proof is in the pudding or really in the dessert wine. Now we get to finally taste these beautiful golden gems. We'll start with the Frima. This is really your rarest bottling, right? Yes. It's only made with the apple we pick in the trees like we did earlier today. Right. So now what happened is the apple is not only frozen because it's been there for a month and a half. It, the apple is cooked on the trees. Wow. And it really tastes that way. It tastes like a cooked or baked or tart tatin type of apple with a lot of caramelization. Exactly. Um, so now, this is one that I haven't tasted, Neige. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, the Neige is uh, made, it's also an, an apple ice wine, made with a natural cryo extraction. So tell me about natural cryo extraction, because I, I've always heard that it's basically an artificial way of making well, ice wine. Neige is done with the apple that I've fallen, put aside, and then we press them just before Christmas when the winter has arrived when okay. it's really cold. So we press the apple and we leave the juice outside, but the sugar doesn't freeze. Okay. So what happened then is that the sugar gets out of the water slowly, and that's the only thing we collect. Okay, so this is the neige, and wow, the fragrance is of absolutely oh. fresh, pure yeah. apples. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's got this incredible tangy acidity that just lights up like yeah. inside your mouth. It's incredible. And really, and then it makes your mouth water yeah. just again and again. So it's interesting because it's very sweet, yeah. but yet that acidity is there to just clean away the sweetness. So yeah. it doesn't seem like syrupy. It is just delicious and it's really interesting and exciting to taste them side by side because yeah. they're so distinct. Well, cheers. This has been wonderful. Well, it was very nice meeting you. Thank you very much. Next up, we'll warm things up with a taste of Old Montreal and the perfect pairs for our ice wines. Stay tuned.